So, my dear brother priests and bishops, fellow religious, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the next Archbishop of Philadelphia, Archbishop-elect Nelson Perez. Saturday morning, I was down in Florida visiting my mom, and uh, and about ten of nine, uh, the phone rings and it's the nuncio, and uh, and guess what he said? Are you alone? And I said to him, Archbishop, you are not changing me again, are you? And he said, I'm not. This is what the Holy Father is. And I said, uh, so where am I going now? And he says, are you sitting? And I says, oh God. <laughs> and he said, Philadelphia. And I said, you're kidding me. You know, once a Philadelphia priest, always a Philadelphia priest. So the part of me that has that identity inside of me cannot wrap its head around being the Archbishop of Philadelphia. It, it, it just, it doesn't compute. But it is what, what the Lord wants and what the Holy Father wants. When I, when I left uh, in 2012, I never really thought I would be back, though I never kind of left either. I'm back to the church, the archdiocese that formed me and ordained me and walked with me. I come back with really a sense of great gratitude and joy. I, I pray for uh, that the vision that Pope Francis uh, presents in the joy of the gospel, that wonderful pastoral exhortation of of a community of, diff, of missionary disciples will uh, be ever vibrant and powerful uh, in the church here in Philadelphia. A community of missionary disciples that, that, that he describes as, as a community that takes initiative, is out in the forefront, is engaged in the world around it, accompanies with the truth of the gospel is fruitful and is joyful. phrase that, that really has become very, and I'm going to ask you to learn it actually. It's a little phrase that, that I tell all the uh, young people that I confirm. This is how it goes. Never underestimate the power of the Holy Spirit working in you, through you, and despite you. <laughs> 